Hello children, welcome to Diksha Online Classes. We continue the matrices and determinants from 10th lecture. So last uh, classes we finished about uh, the properties of uh, determinants and the problems uh, on determinants. Today's lecture we see the application of the determinant uh, that's about the area of the triangle and of determine adjoint of the matrix. So first we see the area of the triangle. You know, when uh, the vertices of a triangle are uh, given to you, x1, y1, x2, y2, x3, y3, we know the area of the triangle is given by half into modulus of sigma x1 multiplied by y2 minus y3. This is actually the area of the triangle. And uh, we calculate uh, the same thing by the determinant form. Half of uh, the determinant can be written it as like this one or as like this one. Either vertically or horizontally x1, y1, 1, x2, y2, 1, x3, y3, 1. And we take the, after evaluation of this determinant, the determinant is a number which may be positive or negative or uh, zero. Uh, but area of the triangle is uh, the positive quantity. And therefore, I say that after evaluation of the determinant, we take up the area is a positive quantity. We always take the absolute value of the above determinant. And if that value is equal to 0, the points are said to be collinear. That means area of the triangle is equal to 0. Okay. Now we shall proceed to problems on this uh, application. Find the area of the triangle whose vertices are 3, 8, minus 4, 2 and 5, 1. So, I consider 3 comma 8 area of the triangle is equals half of 3 8 and 1 second coordinates minus 4 2 1 minus 4 2 and 1 5 1 and 1 5 1 and 1 so evaluating this value that is a half of 3 multiplied by 2 minus 1, 1 minus, first column wise when you expand, minus of minus 4 multiplied by 8 minus 1, 7 and plus 5 multiplied by 8 minus 2, 6 and that is equals to half of 3 plus 28 plus 30 and that is equals to 61 divided by 2 square units. So the answer for this area of the triangle is given by 61 by 2 with these vertices. Now example 2 show that uh, the points B comma C plus A, C comma A plus B, A comma B plus C are collinear. So, the area of the triangle formed by these points. So, B, C plus A and 1, C, A plus B, 1, A, B plus C and 1. The area of this triangle. So, we have to show that the points are collinear means area of the triangle has to be 0. So, we had a similar example in the homework of a determinant uh, lecture. So, we shall see that one by applying the properties of the determinants. How do you simplify? Easy way. Adding the first column to the second column, I change C2 by adding to the first column, uh, first column elements to the second column. Thereby, you get it B, C, A, A plus B plus C, this one to the column. A plus B plus C and B plus C plus A plus B plus C. 1, 1, 1. 
and here the two columns are one is a scalar multiple of the other one that means r2 is nothing but a plus b plus c times of r3 one is a scalar multiple of the other one sorry it is c2 is a a plus b plus c times of c3 therefore one column is a scalar multiple of other column and therefore the determinant is equals to zero by using the determinant of property okay and therefore the points are collinear that implies as area of the triangle is equal to zero and therefore the given points are collinear yes coming to the next example find the equation of the line joining the two points using the determinant 3 1 9 comma 3 so let me take up the two points here 3 comma 1 and 9 comma 3 i have to find equation to the line joining the two points a comma b where i consider one point p x comma y on this line so that locus of p is nothing but the straight line which moves between a comma b so that a p b will form a triangle whose area is equal to zero that means the points are collinear so i considered the area of the triangle a p b is equal to zero that gives us the determinant is equal to zero gives us the equation to this straight line so i considered okay let uh, p x comma y be any point let p x comma y be any point on the line joining points and the line joining points a 3 comma 3 comma 1 and b 9 comma 3 so as a p b are collinear a comma p comma b are collinear so that since they are collinear that implies area of the triangle a p b is equals to zero and that implies a half of determinant x y 1 3 1 1 9 3 1 is equals to 0 and therefore when you take up the determinant of course half gets cancelled be getting x multiply by x multiply by 1 minus 3 minus 2 minus y multiply by it is 3 minus 9 minus 6 and plus 1 multiply by it is uh, 9 minus 9 0 is equal to 0 dividing by minus 2 x minus 3 y is equal to 0 represents an equation to the straight line joining the two points a comma b yes the answer is x minus 3 y is equal to 0 Let's take up the next example. If the area of the triangle is 35 units with the vertices, then find the k value using determinants. So, let's proceed. 2 comma minus 6, 5 comma 4, k comma 4, 35. So, 2 comma minus 6, area of the triangle is equal to 35 square units half of first coordinates are let me take up this as a first coordinate k comma 4 k 4 1 next 2 comma minus 6 1 2 minus 6 1 5 4 1 and that is equals to 35 so that and simplifying 2 taken right side and expansion of this and area of the triangle is uh, nothing but the determinant the absolute value take up it as a k multiply by expanding along the first row k multiply by minus 6 minus 4 minus 10 uh, shall we expand along the first column that will be better so minus 2 multiply by 2 multiply by 4 minus 4 0 plus 5 multiply by 
it's a 4 plus 6 is 10 and that is equals to 70. Being the area supposed to be positive, so we take it as a modulus and that is equal to 70. So it is minus 10k plus 50 as a modulus is equals to 70. I can as well write down this one as a 10k minus 50 is equals to plus or minus 70. So 10k is equals to 50 plus or minus 70. If I take out, take up the positive sign, you will be getting 120 or 10k is equals to minus 20. So that k is equals to 12 or k is equals to minus 2. So the answer, the value of k is equals to either 12 or minus 2. So minus 2 or 12. Coming to the next concept, adjoint of a matrix. What is meant by adjoint of a matrix? Adjoint means the actually adjoint of a matrix means is nothing but the transpose of the cofactor matrix. The adjoint of a matrix is the transpose of the cofactor matrix and is denoted by adjoint A. So if B is the cofactor matrix, then adjoint A is equals to the transpose of the cofactor matrix. The adjoint can also be written it like this one. Adjoint matrix, adjoint of a matrix is given by, it is nothing but the transpose of, you can say that, the transpose of a given matrix, given square matrix, the transpose of a given square matrix in which every element is replaced, every element is replaced by the corresponding cofactor, the corresponding cofactor is called adjoint of the matrix. So the transpose of a given square matrix in which every element will be replaced by the corresponding cofactor is called adjoint of the matrix. Generally written it like a symbol adjoint A. Let us take up uh, one important theorem regarding adjoint of A. If A is any square matrix, then A into adjoint A is equal to adjoint A into A is equal to det A multiplied by unit matrix. Unit matrix is of the same order as that of A. A matrix is equal to, if I consider A matrix is equal to A1, B1, C1, A2, B2, C2, A3, B3, C3. I consider a general matrix A and let me take up the adjoint of this matrix. Adjoint. As I told you that one adjoint is nothing but the transpose of the original matrix. That means the columns should be taken it as a row wise wherein Elements are replaced by corresponding cofactors. The cofactors are nothing but represented by the capital letters. Let me take up it as a, A1, A2, A3. Here, small letters A1, A2, A3 vertically and here we take it as a horizontally. A1, A2, A3, B1, B2, B3, C1, C2, C3. Okay, A and adjoint A. Okay, let me multiply. This is adjoint of A. A multiply by adjoint A matrix is equals to. <coughs> so, A multiply by adjoint A is equals to the product of these two. The product of these two is nothing but A1, B1, C1. <coughs> A1, 
ஏ டூ பி டூ சி டூ ஏ த்ரீ பி த்ரீ சி த்ரீ மல்டிப்ளை பை த கரஸ்பாண்டிங் கோ ஃபேக்டர்ஸ் ஏ ஒன் ஏ டூ ஏ த்ரீ எஸ் ஆஃப்கோர்ஸ் பி ஒன் பி டூ பி த்ரீ சி ஒன் சி டூ சி த்ரீ த ப்ராடக்ட் ஈஸ் கிவன் பை ஃபஸ்ட் ரோ ஃபஸ்ட் காலம் தட்ஸ் நத்திங் பட் ஏ ஒன் கேபிட்டல் ஏ ஒன் பி ஒன் கேபிட்டல் பி ஒன் ப்ளஸ் சி ஒன் கேபிட்டல் சி ஒன் பட் இசன்ட் இட் டிட்டர்மினன்ட் ஆஃப் ஏ ஸோ தே ஃபோர் திஸ் இஸ் நத்திங் பட் டெட் ஏ வெர் ஆஸ் இஃப் யூ கன்சிடர் த சம் ஆஃப் ப்ராடக்ட் ஆஃப் ஃபஸ்ட் ரோ எலிமெண்ட் அண்ட் செகண்ட் காலம் ஃபஸ்ட் ரோ செகண்ட் காலம் this is would be the sum of product of elements of one row with the corresponding cofactors of the second column the value would be zero <laughs> same way first row third column will be zero in the same way second row first column this is zero second row second column sum of product of elements of the second row with the corresponding cofactors of the same row that is nothing but det a Zero. Zero, zero, dead A. Clearly, you can see that uh, this uh, product, A multiplied by adjoint A. Okay. That is A multiplied by, I will write here itself. Uh, A multiplied by adjoint of A is equals to, it is dead A multiplied by 1, 0, 0, 0, 1, 0 and 0, 0, 1, which is a unit matrix. Okay. Uh, a into adjoint a is equal to det a multiply by i similarly we can also prove so adjoint of a multiply by a is equal to det a multiply by i therefore the property is nothing but actually a into adjoint a is equal to adjoint a into a is equal to det a multiply by unit matrix okay shall we proceed to the next one yes as a note remember that certain properties uh, related with the adjoint of the matrix if a is a non singular square matrix of order n non singular means determinant of a not equal to 0 and a is a a is a non singular square matrix of order n then determinant of adjoint a equals det a to the power of n minus 1 det a to the power of n minus 1 okay let's uh, calculate uh, that's a uh, one property so to prove that one let me consider here one concept that is nothing but you know a into adjoint of a is equals to det a multiply by unit matrix where let me assume a is a n by n matrix then i say that determinant when you take up both sides determinant of a into adjoint a is equals to determinant of det a multiply by unit matrix using the product of this is a determinant of the product is nothing but the product of determinants adjoint a is equals to here there is one property that the determinant of k a is equals to k power n times det a using that property det a to the power of n into determinant of unit matrix which is equals to 1 so obviously determinant of adjoint a is equals to det a to the power of n minus 1 provided det a not equals to 0 that a not equal 0 that's the reason we have taken this is a non singular matrix a square matrix but uh, now the second one if a is a non singular square matrix of order n adjoint of adjoint a equals to det a power n minus 2 into a let me take up here in this case the second one a multiply by adjoint a is equals to det a multiply by unit matrix in this one why can't you substitute in place of a replace it by adjoint a that implies it is adjoint a times of adjoint of adjoint a 
that is equal to debt of adjoint A multiplied by unit matrix. Okay, I am just replacing A matrix with adjoint A. And I pre-multiply A here. A multiply by adjoint A into adjoint of adjoint A is equal to since this is a number, when I am pre-multiply A here, A into unit matrix will become A itself. Debt of adjoint A multiply by A. But we know that left hand side A into adjoint A from this property that is debt A multiply by unit matrix. And that implies Debt A multiply by unit matrix multiply by adjoint of adjoint A is equals to, according to this property, this is debt A to the power of n minus 1 into i. Sorry, into A. Into A. And therefore, one debt A gets cancelled, debt A not equal to 0, therefore, i multiply by adjoint A. So that gives us a joint of a joint A is equals to debt A to the power of n minus 2 multiply by A matrix. So the answer is equal to a joint of a joint A is equals to debt A to the power of n minus 2 multiply by A. That's another property. Let's come to the point when A is a non singular matrix, that means debt A not equal to 0, then Determinant of adjoint of adjoint A is equal to A to the power of n minus 1 whole square. So, from the previous one, we have proved that one adjoint. So, we had adjoint of adjoint A from the previous property. It is A to the power of n minus 2 multiplied by A. Why don't you take up determinant both sides? A determinant of adjoint of adjoint A is equal to debt of debt A power n minus 2 multiplied by A. So, that is equal to, it's nothing but debt A to the power of n minus 2 taken whole power n minus 1 into debt A. That and simplifying debt A to the power of n square minus 2n minus 3n plus uh, 1 plus 2 plus 1. Yeah, debt A to the power of whole power n. Sorry. It is uh, n square minus 2n into debt A means becomes plus 1. That is nothing but debt A to the power of n minus 1 whole square. Yes, of course. Debt A to the power of n minus 1 whole square. Yes. So, determinant of adjoint of adjoint A equals debt A to the power of n minus 1. And if A is a symmetric matrix, uh, then adjoint A is also symmetrical. This is one more property of the adjoint of the matrix. Right? Let's proceed. Problems based on the adjoint of the matrix. If A is equals to 2, 1, 3, 3, 1, 2 and 1, 2, 3. Verify that A into adjoint A is equals to adjoint A into A is equals to that A multiply by I. So, using the previous one. Let's see that when uh, A matrix is equals to, it's a 2, 1, 3, 3, 1, 2 and the 2, 1, 3, sorry, 1, 2, 3. This is the given matrix. Let me take up the minors of the elements of A. That implies minors of elements of the matrix A. Let me take up the minus 1 by 1. The first row, first column element 2, minor is equal to eliminating row column. It's a determinant 1, 2, 2, 3. And the minor of first row, second column. That is eliminating row column 3, 2, 1, 3. 3, 2, 1, 3. Similar way, the minor of the third one, 3, 1, 1, 2. Next, the minor of uh, 
थ्री वन थ्री टू थ्री माइनर ऑफ द मिडिल एलिमेंट टू थ्री वन थ्री माइनर ऑफ टू विच इज टू वन वन टू एंड द माइनर ऑफ वन वन थ्री वन टू माइनर ऑफ टू टू थ्री थ्री टू सो टू थ्री थ्री टू and the minor of 3 which is 2 1 3 1 and while calculating the minors of this so minors are given by the simplification of this one gives us i think 3 minus 4 minus 1 and 9 minus 2 7 6 minus 1 5 so 3 minus 6 minus 3 next Six minus three, three. Four minus one, three. And two minus three, minus one. So four minus nine. Four minus nine, minus five. And two minus three, minus one. These are the minors. And what about the cofactors? Cofactors of elements of A are given by just take up the changes in signs. accordingly for a positive negative positive negative positive negative positive negative positive so change the signs of these uh, corresponding elements will be getting minus 1 minus 7 5 3 3 3 3 minus 1 5 and minus 1 so plus 5 minus 3 minus 7 and 3 and thereby you will be getting adjoint of a matrix is nothing but transpose of this cofactors matrix is nothing but minus 1 3 minus 1 okay minus 7 3 5 5 5 minus 3 minus 1 okay 5 minus 3 minus 1 and uh, let me evaluate we have to show that uh, a into adjoint a is equals to det a multiply by unit matrix let me calculate the determinant first so the determinant of a matrix is equals to determinant of 2 1 3 yes what 3 1 2 and 1 2 3 and that is equals to it is 2 multiply by 3 minus 4 minus 1 minus 1 multiply by 9 minus 2 7 And plus three multiply by six minus one, five. That equals to minus two minus seven plus fifteen, and that is equals to six. Okay, let me multiply. A multiply by adjoint A. That is equals to A matrix two one three, three one two, one two three multiply by adjoint matrix is equals to minus one three minus one, minus one. Three minus one, and minus seven three five, and five minus three minus one, five minus three minus one, and now the product of these two matrices is equals to. That gives us answer here. I hope it's minus two, so minus two minus seven plus fifteen, minus two minus seven plus fifteen. Second one, six plus three minus three. Six plus three minus nine zero, and I force so minus two plus five minus three zero. Next one minus three minus seven minus ten plus ten zero. I hope we'll be getting nine plus three twelve minus six six. Uh, obviously, definitely you can check these values are zero zeros and we'll be getting six. Even this number is also six. Clearly, you can see that the six taken common. This is one zero 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 one zero 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 one. That is equal to six into unit matrix. So you could you got it as a a into adjoint a is equal to six. And of course, determinant of a is equal to six and det a multiplied by i unit matrix. Similarly, you could also prove that one adjoint a multiplied by a is equal to delta a multiplied by unit matrix. That's what you'll be getting this one. That's an example five. Okay, so these are the problems. One problem and application on the the adjoint of the matrix.
So today we have learned about application of the determinant of a matrix and adjoint of the matrix and one property a theorem on the adjoint of the matrix. Based on this one, why can't you just go through the examples and uh, finish a homework and get back to the solutions of the homework. Hope you understood this lecture. Okay, I conclude this lecture, lecture number 10. We continue in the next lecture, lecture number 11. Thank you.